Alright, hey everyone, it's Mackenzie here and I'm coming to you with another product review. Um, the product review is going to be on Zuri um, Press Powder. This press powder is in Honey Brown or 6803BF. Um, this is kind of a new makeup popping up which is actually very similar to Black Radiance makeup. Um, it's similar in that they're both for dark skin tones and that they are really kind of on the inexpensive side. Um, I got this product for like $3.98. Um, you can find it on Amazon for like $6.99, $7.99, but it's just popping up in stores currently. I saw it in my local beauty supply store and I saw it in our local Walmart. Um, but only one of the Walmarts around here has it. I went to another Walmart and I was like trying to see, maybe I'll get, you know, their cream to powder thing to mix with this and they didn't have it at the other Walmart so it's kind of like brand new and so I just want to show you the packaging first um, remember it's honey brown this is uh, how it comes just some classic packaging um, gives you all the information right here directions for best coverage use after applying and blending flawless liquid color, color cover foundation or cream to powder with enclosed powder puff um, came with this and pressed firmly onto face and neck. Okay, so did that, done that, know those, know that direction. And so um, you open it, this is how it looks, and then it comes up kind of like this underneath. The sponge goes here, like so. Closes fine with the sponge in there. And then there's that nice mirror that you all probably saw right here. Okay? And so, I like it. I do give it like a 3 out of 5 just because it does make my skin feel dry. Like, if I was just to put on some concealer and then pressed powder, you know, you're just going out to the grocery store real quick. You don't want to look like a raccoon, got dark circles going on. Um, and you just want to put on your concealer and then some pressed powder to give yourself a little more of an even skin tone. Um, this will make my skin feel dry while I'm out. Even my cheeks and everything will just feel dry, even the oily spots. So I guess it's really good, like, if you need a touch-up and, you know, you're oil, oily right now. You're like, yeah, because it's, like, kind of drying. But I don't really like that. I kind of like looking a little dewy sometimes. So, um, that's kind of a downside for me. But, other than that, it's really good. And the price is really good. If you can find it, you should try it. I say, I say try it, you know. It might be different for your skin tone. Um, I'm going to go out and get the cream and powder and tell you guys how that is. Maybe the foundation because, you know, I'll beat my face with some, you know, $5, $4 makeup. I'll beat my face. I'll be beat, okay. There's nothing on my face that costs more than probably $5. So... <laughs> You know, I'm good. I'll buy this stuff. But, you know, I'm just not saying it's not great. Um, one thing that does seem good about it versus Black Radiance is that it is staying completely intact. You know, Black, Black Radiance makeup likes to crumble. Their pressed powder just crumbles and falls apart. And then I have to take my time breaking it up into pieces and trying to put it all back together. Um, and if you want a tutorial on how to put your broken powder back together, just let me know. But, um... I, I say give it a try. It does give me evenness and all that stuff. It's just it's so drying. Like just thinking about how drying it is, it's making my face feel like so gross. Like I'm just thinking about the Sahara and you know the little when you see the sand and it's got the little octagons in it and you know I just I'm just not feeling good about how drying it is, but. I still think it's a product worth trying. Okay, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next video.